Hey everyone. Uh, I'm in West Baltimore, uh, just off North Avenue. I have never, ever seen an alleyway like this. This looks like a landfill. I, wait, to, here, let's just have a look. Now these places here are nice, you know, they keep see the yard over here clean, trying to keep it nice. And then look at this. This is, it just goes all the way down. I don't know if anyone lives here. I don't, probably not. But it looks like people are just coming here and throwing stuff over the fence, maybe? You know, that's the great gardens of Baltimore. You're not getting up there. My God, look at all this stuff. It's an abandoned house there. And it looks like basement door is open. There's a new fence here. All these bricks. I guess somebody bought the house. They're trying to keep people from dumping in their backyard. But that doesn't stop people here. Look, look at this. Can you believe this? These houses are right behind us, and uh, it looks like they're going to tear this down because a lot of them are boarded up. Um, but let's just keep moving here. I just, I am in shock. I've never seen any, I, I've never seen it this bad before. I am just curious as to why the city has not been through here to clean this up other than perhaps it's being dumped in the alley and the city is moving it into these backyards of properties that are probably owned by the city so instead of cleaning it up they just dump it this is, uh, what is, how embarrassing is this? It's just tragic. I mean, see back here, all of these uh, are being boarded up and cinder blocked up as well. Housing Authority, Baltimore City. Oh. 
Looks like this may be occupied. Of course this isn't, look at this. Now, he, see, this has been cleaned out. This here. So at least there's uh, some attempt. I don't know if this is even, is this the beginning of them cleaning the whole alleyway? Now, see, if you look over here, clean maybe a little bit of trash down there but nothing even close to this shocking thing I've ever seen. Someone just dropped their couch off here. <laughs> nice little outdoor fireplace there. But that this house is abandoned. Looks like they're the house there is abandoned too. It's just caved in. That one's caved in. And this is all just more, more junk. Wow, man, this is insane. Hello? Hello?
there's a bathroom right here. A full bathroom, but there's no door. There's no door, they just covered it up. Oh, oh, here it is. You go that way. That's North Avenue out there. West North Avenue. All right, friends, let's, uh, let's get the hell out of this place. There's some pictures up here. Okay, that was awful. <laughs> I need a breath, hold on. So anyway, uh, I got my little breather. Um, I got so freaked out when I was going down the stairs to the basement because I thought that I saw someone standing by the basement door. But it turned out there was no one there. But I could have sworn I saw like someone's shoulder outside the little window. Um, when I go into houses, like on North Avenue, usually they are occupied with uh, people like squatters and stuff. So that's why I was a little apprehensive about that house because that house is the perfect house for squatting because it's not falling apart and it's relatively... There's really no mold or anything like that, but the place had definitely been swept out. So I don't know if someone bought it and they're going to rehab, but with it wide open like that, anything could happen. So whatever house that is, they should hop to it, get that door secured. But what a creepy place. That was fun. I enjoyed that. This is unusual. I've never seen this before. Beware of snakes. And it has like canned goods on the front step. Very strange. <laughs> I don't think snakes come out this time of year, but uh, it's an interesting way to keep people away from the building. That is nice. My girl. Billy. I'm gonna take a little detour here through Mount Olive. Mount Olive or Mount Olivet. I don't know if the T is silent. I think it's Mount Olivet. Or Mount Olive, I mean. Um it's a pretty dismal looking cemetery. It started and was founded in 1845. Boy, there are a lot of toppled stones here. Wait, what is going on in this place? Oh, 
Ah, uh, what a shame. See that one right there? That has a, that has a figure on top. Looks like an angel. She's gonna be broken. You can't even tell who it was because it's so covered up. Uh, hmm. I don't even see any. Uh, I don't even see the remains of any coffins unless they've completely disintegrated, but usually, I, I don't know if this is, if they took the bodies out of here or what. Same thing here, there's a TV. Well, it is a box TV, so this is an appropriate place for it. But they must have moved. What? These are there's gravestones right here. Grave markers. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with this. This uh tomb with these it's both of these tombs. Thomas Lambden. His tomb is still intact or covered up. But pretty dismal, isn't it? Depressing. What's the name of this person? Yeah, I can't, I can't even. The ivy is so stuck to the wall. The last name was Neil. They must have moved them somewhere else. There's just no way. This place is crazy. There's so many toppled graves. I don't think it's from like people coming in toppling them. I think they're just just falling over because the ground is not, like look at this. Look look at her, the angel. She's ready to fall over. I mean literally that thing is going to fall over. That's where the music is coming from. Or is it? Oh, there must be a church or something. I thought they had a speaker on that grave. Looks like those people were very loved. The whole quest. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I just wanted to pop in here and show you guys Eddie's of Mount Vernon, the uh, supermarket that's been closed, much to the uh, dismay of many people in the neighborhood. Anyway, I thought or I heard that they had sold this property and that they were gonna build a giant new um, apartment building here. But apparently I was wrong. I read in the Baltimore banner that Eddie's is reopening with new owners. So it should be open by this summer. Uh, so that's a bit of good news for the neighborhood. Finally. 
anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, I will be back uh, next week with another video. Uh, hopefully, actually, we're going to do a nice neighborhood for once. I know I said I was going to do it for this video. We'll do it next week. Thank you all very much for watching. This is DanBell.com. Bye-bye.